So let's return to our coding environment here in the JBoss Studio. So the uh, class that we've been working on is called Things Rest Service. And so far, we only have a single getJSON item, and then we also have the getXML item. So we're going to create two more JSON services. Let's start by copying the existing code and adapting it. So we're going to get one record by its ID number and display it in JSON format. So let's start by modifying the path. The uh, command that we're looking for is called getJSON and let's call it by ID. Let's put a slash and then in curly brackets we're going to put a variable name. So I'm just going to call it ID. Alright, so now let's attack this uh, get all things as JSON. Let's rename this as uh, maybe get one thing and then we'll give it some parameters. Get one thing is JSON. Now inside of here, I'm going to put in another parenthesis here, and inside of this we're going to say at path parameter, at path param, and then we're going to call it an ID. So the parameter name is this thing up here, and it's going to be translated into a number. Now I don't think I need to have another set of parentheses. What I do need to do is tell it that this is an integer and we'll call it ID as a new name. Now path parameter looks like it needs to be imported. And now we're ready to pass this variable, this integer, onto our next method. Now the method that we have right now says get all or read all. Let's say, uh, call it read one and let's uh, send in an integer of an ID. Now you can see we have an error on read one. It doesn't exist yet. And so we're going to have to go backwards and develop a interface for the business, interface for the, for the database service, and then actually implement the code. So it looks like four places need to have definitions and implementations for read one. Well, let's start with our suggestion that says, uh, let's create a method called read one in the business service interface. So the uh, new definition has been created. It says I'm going to get a list of beautiful things. Actually, I don't want a list. I just want to have one item as a beautiful thing as it's returned. Now you can see that over here on the REST service, we have another error. It says business service one is not implementing all of the methods that we promised in the, uh, in the uh, contract. So we're going to add the unimplemented method. Okay, so read one is supposed to get one item. So let's do a return. And we're going to rely on the database class, which also does not have a, a function created yet. Okay, so we're relying on the database function and we're looking for read one. It says here, Let's go create the interface. So we're going to cascade through the database interface and the database implementation. Let's create read one in the database. This time it got the right type number. Let's save the work here. Okay, let's check for errors. It still says there's a business service one error. What's going on there? Uh, it says read, oh, we don't need to actually put the word int there. We're sending the variable ID back to it. Okay, I'm saving this. And let's look for errors over here. So database has a problem. So let's start with the database interface. It looks good. Now the database service is going to complain that we have not implemented all of the methods that we promised in the blueprint. So scrolling down, we're going to come down to a new uh, function that was just created for us and read one. So the comments should be here that we're going to uh, get one record. So we can probably get some code from the previous uh, implementations of our methods and adapt it. So I'm going to look through the list of our, our items. Delete one. I'm looking for a read statement. So insert one. Nope. Let's do read all. I'm going to start with that. So let's uh, copy all of the code and adapt it. All 
All right, I've collapsed everything, and now I am just working on read one. So I'm going to paste in the read all code and delete a bunch of things. So first of all, we don't want a list of things. We just want to have a single item return. So we're going to start with a B. We do a connection. Connections are normal. Select star. We need to just change one thing for our query. We're going to say where um, ID equals question mark. So we're going to create a prepared statement. Let's uh, change this statement type from statement to prepared statement. After we change the uh, type of statement to a prepared statement, we're looking for a new type of uh, statement down here. So let's delete the current create statement, type C dot. It looks like prepared statement is what we're looking for, and we need a string with a SQL in it. So the string is actually what we're going to adapt this line to. So I'm going to copy this and put it over top of the word statement. Semicolon. Let's delete this. We need to tell the um, statement dot set integer and integer number one is going to adapt to the ID that we sent to the parameters up here. Then we need to execute this statement. Execute query. And we're going to assign that to a result set. So RS equals. So the result set is set. So now instead of having to add a beautiful thing to the list of everything, we're going to remove the reference to the list of everything. Okay, it looks like the rest of it is error handling, and when we're done, instead of returning everyone, we return a single item B. All right, we still have an error. It says we need to initialize the variable. Okay, so let's do that. And so when we create the beautiful thing, it is now set to null. All right, so let's uh, test this out. I think I can save the work, and we should be able to run the service now. So it looks like the program is running. Let's try setting our new uh, URL in here. And when I type in get JSON by ID with a 1, it looks like we're getting number 1. Let's try a number 20. And now we have smiley face. And number 19, I think, was popcorn. And there it is. Okay, so that takes us through the process of creating a single response. Okay, let's return to the uh, things rest service. The next uh, we're looking for is to adapt this code and create a search function instead of a single ID. So I'm going to start by copying this code and adapting it. So this is what I'm trying to develop now. Get a list of records using a search term and display them in JSON format. So let's change this name to get JSON by name. And instead of ID, we're going to use the word name. How about? We can adapt these to name. Name is probably a string. And let's call this name. So instead of using read1 and id, we're going to send it the uh, string name. And let's call this thing search for, or OK. So I'm going to name this thing as search for. Let's go through the same process. We have to, I'm going to save the work here. Now we're going to have to implement these items in the business service as well as the uh, database services. So this looks like it's going to be a list of items. So instead of one item, let's call it that. All 
Okay, so now we have the array list being sent back. Let's go check out the business service. We need to implement the method that has been promised. Inside of the new method, we're going to use the database service, return db, and I'm going to use the word search for, and let's change the string type there. Okay, so now it's going to complain that the interface needs to have this actual blueprint included. So we implement that automatically, save the changes. Let's go into the database service. So we'll add the un unimplemented method. And let's find the bottom of this page here. And I'm going to paste in the code from the read one. Okay, so let's collapse that. A few indents here. All right, so we are going to eventually create a list of things and return it. So let's um, let's copy another line from read all. So read all is creating a list called everyone, and we're going to use that data type. So there we have. So everyone is going to be the list of everything that we find. And we're going to return the everyone item. Now we have to create the everyone item. So back to our search terms here. All right, so now we're going to change some of the uh, SQL statements in here. So right at the current, we're looking for an ID number. So we're going to change that and we're going to use a column number or column name from our database. It looks to me like thing title would be the right thing to use. So I'm going to delete ID equals question mark and change this to say where thing title like question mark. And so the like is going to allow us to do pattern matching. Now the next line down says your first parameter is a string and ID number doesn't work there, so let's change this to set string. The first string will match the name. So the name is the parameter that is coming from our function header. I also want to add the percent sign, so I would like to put in this, where we would put a wildcard match at the beginning and the end of our string. So to match strings together, you have to put them in quotes and then attach them with a plus sign. All right, so that will give us a match of anything that has a pattern like the word we type in. When we go through our loop here, we're going to have more than one item. So let's uh, change this to add the item every to the everyone list. And let's see, add is the function we're looking for. And let's scroll to the end. It looks to me like we're returning B. I forgot to put in this thing is everyone. And we have an extra bracket. Save and all the errors go away. And it looks like we're ready to run. So let's go to index run as and see what happens. Okay, let's type in here some of our testing. Let's type in rest things slash get json by name and let's put in the word dark and let's put in the word deer and we did get John Deere let's see what else there is let's put in dark okay and let's change this to a letter P we get a couple things so it looks like searching by name is working so this database service works you can see there's an error left on database service 2 those are unimplemented methods that need to be added, but not in this video.